Hello friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to be talking about another chapter of the Rust book that is basically covering the module. So let's go to the screen and I will show you there. So as you can see here that I'm currently present in the Visual Studio Code and inside this you can see here that this is the previous lesson that I covered in my previous video that was uh, relevant to reference. So in this video I'm going to be talking about the module. So let's say Cargo New uh, 14 and that is going to be module. Uh, name module like this okay so from now yeah let's open this and after that let's go to the main.rs but first of all going through the module let's understand that what it is so module is nothing but it's a block of uh, like block in which you can write multiple things like you, know, you can write functions in it you can write structs enums traits and all of the functionalities of the function that you can write it in a block right so now the um, the block will be known for the, that kind of functionality instead of that uh, single function let's say if you want to write uh, a login functionality and all of the um, logic that is present in it you can write it in a module right so after that if you write want to write the sign up functionality and all of the logic that will be present will be in the module right so this is how the module will be uh, uh, constructed and they will basically contain all of the um, logic and all of the functionalities in a single block so after that if you want to call this uh, what you can say block you can simply call it instead of calling the functions manually or the structs or enums uh, or using them all in uh, one by one so you can just call the module so now let's open this uh, first of all uh, what you can see here let's uh, go to the syntax of it the first thing that you need to write is to write mod and then inside the mod what you need to do is to give the mod name all right so the module name could be anything that you need to write like uh, give it in small letters and after that uh, let's write a function that is going to be let's say first fn so this is called the function name and inside this i will write the print statement that is called the um, this is the first module printed all right so yeah now this is what is called the function and that is present in the module after that let's say if i want to call this in the main uh, function main function then i can simply write main function outside the module and after that i will simply write first that is the module name colon colon then first function sorry first fn that is the function name and that's it all right so now the first uh, is the module name and colon colon after that the function name is written and that will print the details all right so let's close uh, save this a cd and then 14 module and after that cargo run and now you can see here that it is giving me an error that the first fun is a function that is called uh, that is a private function it is not public function so by every uh, by default the function is uh, private and if you want to change it to public you have to specifically write it like pub in it all right so you have to specifically write the pub uh, before it in order to make it public and this way it will make the function public you can see here that this is the first module printed so yeah this is how you can use the module so let's say if i want to uh, create another module and that is going to be the second so mod second all right so you can name any kind of uh, module name that you want to uh, and after that let's say if i write second module this would be fine all right second module with the camel case right and after that pub but before using pub let's say if i write struct and that struct is going to be data and inside this i will write first name string all right so this is a struct that i have discussed in my previous video last name and this is also going to be struct a string all right so now i'm going to use this struct in a function that is called uh, what you can say here um, second fn and after that let data is equal to data and after that uh, first name that is going to be like Bilal Khan all right and after that this is going to be converted to string and the second name is sorry this is not in Cayman case this is normal case and the na last thing is the last name that is uh, what you can see here this is going to be Khan sorry I put the Khan here also so I will remove this and I will write like this to string all right 
so yeah this is first name and last name and they are used as a data variable they are saved in the data variable as a struct and after that put the uh, semicolon uh, semicolon uh, what you can say semicolon here and after that let's write the print data so print data is going to be let's say like this okay so let's say data and uh, first name and data last name all right so let's put the semicolon here semi and now it will work fine actually there are some points that i'm missing here so the first point that is going to be is uh, basically write the pub here uh, to make this truck public and all the fields public as you can see here there are the fields that also needs to be public and then it will work and the next thing is going to be the function that i'm also going to be making it public now after making this public in this thing will work so let's modify this a little bit like first name okay and then uh, write like this new line and then the second name or last name right so last name okay so now it's a little bit clear and after that let's uh, write, uh, call this inside the main function that is going to be second module all right and inside this what i will write here is colon colon uh, second fn so let's call this clear this and now you can see here that it is going uh, it is asking me this uh, like uh, this thing so yeah this thing needs to be removed here the curly braces so now as you can see here that it is working so yeah this is a first name in the last name uh, that is printed here successfully so yeah this is how you can write the modules and the struct and enums all of them in the module so now if you call the module it will be called all of these functionalities will be called and after that the next thing that i'm going to do is to create the nested modules so what the nested modules does is basically write the mod and inside this create another mod so let's say if let's say um, parent mode all right parent mode uh parent module like this and inside this i will write the child child module child module like this all right so inside the parent module what i will do yeah, i will create a function that will be public function ob obviously and then it will be function a and inside this i will write print line uh function uh, what you can say here uh, parent module is printed and then after that let's uh, remove the, uh, copy this and now let's paste it down here and after that let's write uh, the, change the function name b and then child module is printed child module is printed now this is how you can write the module this is going to be the public uh, module inside this a uh, public function a will be present and after that the child module inside this the uh, b function will be printed or written so now if i want to call this i can simply write like uh, what you can say here parent uh, module parent module is equal to a okay and then the child module is going to be different so the child module will be basically parent module and then after that child module child module like this and then the b function this is how you can write it like the inside the parent module uh, there is a child module and then the b is present the b function is present so this is the syntax of it let's clear this and now you can see here that uh, okay this is giving an error that function b is not publicly re-exported it means that the child module is a private module so i need to also make the module the nested module public all right so in order to make this work i also need to make this module public so everything that will be present inside the parent module needs to be public in order to be called all right so let's write clear this and now cargo run you can see here the parent module is printed and child module is printed now it is working successfully and this is how you can write the modules and uh, these uh, this is the um, thing that will make it easier for us in order to structure all the code in a blocks so that we can call the blocks instead of calling the functions all right so yeah i hope you understood and like this video so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye